we took three and a half plus three quarters of an inch thickness pine wood and we choose pine wood over maple or any other wood because it's like and is the cheapest. We drill the true holes we need for the straps we'll be using as a means for attachment to the raft. Always sanding and smoothing rough surfaces. We check for the desired width of the true hole. We prepare the special true holes wide enough to pass it on the straps with the snap clips. When we assemble the frame, we want to avoid the screw heads protruding over the surface of the wood creating some kind of wear and tear to the raft. We made true holes that can hide the heads but still hold the washers for assembly. Always sanding and smoothing the surface. We created and holders for the bicycle to give extra safety, preventing horizontal displacements while moving and bouncing. Since the kickstands stay horizontal, we made some drains to prevent water stagnation. All the metal hardware we coat with silicone based product to prevent oxidation and corrosion. We made two holes to the seats to fit the tie straps and fix the rig to it. We paint in a matching color to the raft. And we make it waterproof so that the wood does not act as a sponge. We add extra layers of protection to the metal hardware. With plastic tie straps and sponges we use for washing dishes, we make a cushion for the bicycle stands where the tires will be resting, avoiding metal to metal friction and protecting the rims of the bicycle. So, this is the result of the rigging. Uh, let me show you, we put it on top.
Tá.